Libra, um, thanks for checking me out. This is your weekly reading from January 10th to 17th. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe, like, comment. If it doesn't resonate with you, then check your rising and moon sign as well. Um, this is my first weekly reading, so thanks for joining me. Um, let's see what we got here. All right, for Libra, for it's the 17th. Ooh, okay, Libra. Ten of Swords right away. You're kind of feeling defeated right now. Um, maybe stabbing the back a little. Maybe your kind of life is kind of getting a better view of what's going on in the world. Um, but we do have a celebration here as well. Um, so that's interesting. Kind of two, two different cards. So there's maybe a celebration on the way for you here. Um, or maybe it was like a third party. There could have been like maybe a third party or, or something. We found out some information of like a group of people talking about you. Um, it's interesting right here, tower. Okay, it's got the tower here. Change is kind of on the way for you. So whatever this kind of harp or this kind of a stab in the back energy was, the tower is here to kind of come in and change things up a bit. Um, I kind of, for some reason, I'm getting like this energy of this being you here with the Ten of Swords and this is to being a different group of people. So maybe there was a situation where you feel left out of a group or um, people are kind of hanging out without you, kind of um, feel like an energy that you kind of like don't belong. Um, and maybe you were feeling like kind of hostile about this group, but it feels like this change is kind of coming through for you in this week. And the tower's coming, coming in, it's just the universe trying to clear it all out. So maybe you're starting to see kind of relationships with people around you that aren't really working. Um, maybe this was a third party situation that kind of entered your life that you found out about. Um, relationship wise, um, that could also, also be a thing. It seems like you're starting to trust the universe though a little bit more, you're starting to trust that things will kind of work out in your favor. Can I have more on this tower here? Can I have a card on this tower here, please? Card on this tower. Just a tower. Card on the tower, please. Thank you. Fighting. So it seems like there's some fighting going on in this group. So I don't know if it might be a conflict at work. It could be um, a friend group here. But definitely there's something that you're feeling that there's a bit of conflict. And that, that conflict is kind of forcing you to maybe move away from the situation here. A little bit more information on this fighting. I think you're starting to trust yourself a bit more. Yeah, time for action. You know, I think you've kind of stewed about these people for a little bit. And it's time to really push forward and... And not time to kind of rest. You got the four of swords here. Reversed. Seems like there might have just been like a lot of conflict, kind of whatever it is in this friend group, or I don't know, I keep just getting friend group from this. Kind of social circle, like almost like someone stabbed you in the back, which is interesting. Any more cards to clarify this information? Three of Pentacles. Looking for more of teamwork. Team building, lots of threes coming up here. So that's why I kind of think of another group or team party. Maybe you're looking for this teamwork or you're trying to find a place where it feels like more of a team and, and not you feeling out left out in the cold. You could be looking for a relationship with that as well too, Libra. I think it's more information on the city pentacles. That's a lot, so I'm not gonna take all of those. More information on the three of pentacles. This kind of three Let's see one here. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles reversed, and then the hard work. So it looks like maybe this might be a job situation. Um, maybe there's a promotion that you were supposed to get that didn't really come through. Um, maybe you're not feeling part of the team. Um, got the Page of Pentacles here. Maybe there's going to be a new kind of staple, um, like work offer or a money offer that way. Uh, maybe things aren't kind of manifesting for you, or maybe this one of the people that aren't, um, that you feel stuck in the back by, it could be an earth sign as well. Um, it seems like you're kind of not feeling that your hard work is paying off or is being valued or appreciated. Um, you might be working for someone that's a little bit greedy. So maybe there might be a little bit of a work switch up here. Um, maybe you're looking for that new kind of stable offer somewhere you can work as a team with someone. 
We got the Knight of Pentacles here too. Lots of Pentacles coming through. So I, I do see, yeah, I do, I see something more um, stable money-wise coming in for you. I keep getting drawn back to this tower. So maybe it was something where um, maybe even you were like, go from a job or you just didn't get a job um, or not driving with the people at your job and you could have got fired or, um, or it could have just realized that, hey, maybe it's time to leave. Um, but it looks like a more kind of financial work offer. I think other people are kind of noticing all the hard work you do um, and whoever this kind of like greedy boss energy is, um, is maybe not appreciating all the work that you do. Cause I see, I see something definitely more stable in the way. Can I get a little bit more information on this Knight of Pentacles? Judgment and star reversed. Okay, maybe it's moving you towards Maybe it's, um, maybe it's moving you towards something that, like, it's moving you towards something that's a bit more, see if you're kind of, like, ready for this, this new start. I don't, it's kind of conflicting here, because I'm kind of getting two stories. Can I have more on the Star Reverse? Okay, the star okay, so Ace of Pentacles, definitely a new job or a new financial start coming in for you. Um, maybe it's something that you didn't expect or that you didn't wish for. Um, maybe it's, I think it could be the universe being like, hey, here's this new opportunity. Maybe it's something that you never thought about doing. Maybe it was something that you haven't wished for before, but you kind of wish for more um, stability. And maybe it might be something that you're good at. So maybe watch out for that and watch out for those financial offers coming through. Um, and really feel kind of with your intuition if this is like the right way to go. Because it seems like maybe this wasn't um, something you thought about doing or dreamed about doing. But I see something very stable here for you at least. Um, Queen of Swords here. Um, so it could be, and we have also the star sign here, so it could be Aquarius kind of bringing in this energy, but you have the Queen of uh, Swords and the Knight of Cups. So we got um, air energy, water energy here, um, also earth energy, really heavy. It looks like there's some definitely some offers that are going to come in for you. Um, this Queen of Swords kind of, this kind of draws me with the Queen, Knight of Cups as another person bringing in this offer for you. Um, and the Queen of Swords kind of I'm, I'm feeling that it gets more like your energy. So you're going to be assertive of kind of what you want and you're kind of going to be like, no bullshit, like this is what I expect for myself. Um, kind of really communicating and vocalizing um, what you expect and what you think your worth is. And I think you need to kind of stand strong in your power um, that way and really feel... Yeah, really, really um, discern between um, what it is you want and um, what you want to kind of manifest in your life. Because it almost seems like, yeah, you're going to start to see for yourself how much you value what you've already done and all the hard work that you've already done. And I think you're going to move into a position a bit more... A bit, a bit more value of yourself, appreciating yourself with this energy. Because it seems like whatever this like stab in the back energy was with these people not um, appreciating you, I think you're kind of moving with this change into a place of really being assertive and really deciding what it is you deserve. And I think like, it's almost like if someone comes to you and you're just like, here, here's this job offer. Um, we're gonna pay you this amount of money. I can kind of feel like you're like, no, I'm worth more than that. I've worked hard enough. Um, I really start to value myself here. And I think you're going to, you starting to value yourself will bring kind of more money um, forward for you. Um, and I think money is something that you're kind of focusing on right now. I think you're trying to really build, build your kind of abundance and build your worth here. Um, just look out for different streams of revenue. Like don't, don't knock something uh, offer here. Um, because it's not something that you've kind of dreamed about doing your whole life. If it is a money, just if it is like um, a money offer, just sit back and think about it and think, hey, is this revenue? Is this something that's going to work well for me on what my overall goal is? 
Um, it's going to be judgment that way because it seems like the universe just wants to bring you towards all these money offers. Um, and because if that's something you're focused on, just because it's not something, you don't have to do it forever. You can change up your career whenever you want, right? You don't have to do it just because the offer is there or um, you could do it for a year basically and like gain the money from that, gain the experience and move forward that way. Can you give me some more information? Lovers reversed, loss, sin. Okay, so you might be going through like a breakup as well. So that might be the energy. There could have been a little bit of cheating that you feel maybe that was that third party thing of being stabbed in the back. It could have been relationship wise. Um, valuing yourself because you got the lovers reversed, breakup. Um, a breakup here. This could also be a partnership in your job too, so it doesn't have to be just love. It could also it just means partnership in general, so just like the end of a partnership. So maybe you're cutting ties with someone that um, financially you were partner with, or this actual is a little breakup. You could have investments with your partner. There could have been um, a job situation where it could have been with a romantic partner as well, and you guys are kind of splitting away from that. Because I do see a little bit of loss, a little bit of sadness and depression here. And then the sun reversed, which is still a good card, which means the sun is on the way. It's just a little delayed. So it seems like right now, maybe you're kind of feeling stabbed in the back by this situation. You're feeling hurt. Um, but better days are on the way for you. And it's saying that there. If I get any more information, maybe about this lover's first. This gradual sun coming in. Yeah, I see two separate. I see like almost like stab in the back love wise, like a cheating kind of situation. Um, but I also feel like a financial one where I also feel like conflict in wherever you're working in right now and it's kind of come to a boiling point where you're just like time to move on for something else and you know, kind of getting after what you what you want and what you deserve. Any more information for Libra here for the 10th to 17th? King Cups, Page of Wands reversed. All right, I'd just be like, so it might be, so it might be a water sign here as well. Getting some cups here, um, King Cups um, for the week as well. So maybe it was a water sign that you kind of are breaking up from. Um, I got the Page of Wands reversed. Um, so it could be, that's more likely the fire sign. So fire, water here as well. Um, something creative start not really happening. So I see like, just stay good in your emotions and just stay um, positive and just know your worth and, and keep a solid ground emotionally. Um, because even if this offer or this new beginning um, or this this passionate this this passionate offer coming in is not coming in for you. Um, make sure you still stay solid emotionally. Don't let it get the best of you. Don't let don't let yourself get too depressed because the sun is on the way. It's coming. You know, just stick kind of stay good with yourself. Stay positive, um, and positive things will kind of follow for you. Let's see what the oracle cards have to say here. All right. So this is the energy oracle. Energy oracle for Libra for January 10th to 17th, please. Ooh. Yin and Yang bouncing out. Okay, so there might be some creative blocks here with the uh, Archangel Ariel. Um, might be some creative blocks here in your second chakra. Um, so make sure you're kind of divulging and um, you're working on your second chakra. If it's it, definitely if you do meditation, um, kind of work on that because there might be a block there. Uh, yin and yang, balancing out your life, which Libra is all about balance. Um, so balance out the good with the bad. Don't focus on specifically just on all the things that are not working out in your life. Um, on the silos, focus out, you know what, there's always bad and good and always good and bad. Whatever this relationship was, um, if it was a relationship or a work relationship, that just because something bad happened, just because something is changing, um, there shouldn't be kind of regret left for you there. It was an experience, you had to go through it, um, and there's always going to be good 
like what yin and yang says, they're always as good in the bad, bad and the good, right? So you gotta focus it that way. Nothing's ever gonna be perfect, Libra. Um, let's take one Moonology article too. Let's see for Libra for January 10th to 17th. two oracles here uh so what do you need to release definitely it seems like there's a bit a little bit of stuck energy here um re releasing basically this old hurt energy releasing the stab in the back energy and kind of moving forward from whatever the situation is be bold and make the first move i think it's time especially if i think it's time to do for a switch up it's time to change some things um you know, you got to kind of be the one that's proactive um, at changing your life and you kind of got to make that first step. So if whatever the situation is that you feel left out of or um, you kind of feel broken heart about it or that's like draining your energy, it's you're going to be the person that's changing it, right? That change in the universe is kind of giving you that little bit of push, but you have to be the person that changes your outcome for this to more bright and sunnier days. Um, time to end whatever this energy of feeling stabbed in the back is um time to you to get a bit more stable in your life all right so that's your weekly reading libra